This is a quick video following up with some extra material from the last video about the Deer's Rest Hotel. Last time we spoke with Graham Anderson the Potter from Lightning Ridge about his pots made with ash from the fire that destroyed the Deer's Rest Hotel. You can find that video up here on a mobile device and down there in the description on anything else. When I visited Graham he also showed us some other pots that were glazed with various kinds of ash and other chemicals which we'll see in this video. If you're interested in pots made with ash you should probably also check out the Science of Pots with Graham from a few years ago where we saw some pots made with ash from the volcanic eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. But for now, here's Graham. All right, we, at the moment we'll be talking about ash glazes. Uh, you can do a basic glaze on pottery by starting off with ash from, say, whatever you've burnt in the kiln and the clay. So you start off with a 50-50 mix and then if it looks as though it might be interesting then you could refine it a bit or add other glazes to it. This one was bamboo ash. Now that is mainly silica so it didn't melt. Uh, it just sits there like coarse sandpaper. And I had added a bit of uh, other oxide to it and then it's been burnt in the fire so that's where it, why it's so black. This was ash from um, pine, the oily things like pine, eucalypt, things like that uh, tends to melt nicely and create runny glazes. This was from eucalypt. There's one pot I've got somewhere or other, can't find it, it was ash from the boobiella shrub and it gave a nice thick white glaze. <laughs> now this one was fired in a very large Anagama style kiln, Japanese style, and um, unglazed pot. And this is the fly ash from the wood. So it's fired over three days. So as it gets really hot and the ash will stick to the side of the pot, and then you might get some interesting colours. This Lovely. pot was uh, just the, the clay itself, nothing was added to it to counteract the silica, which explains why there was such a tension between the glaze and the clay. The pot actually broke, and then the glaze has been gradually peeling off the surface. So that was uh, clay from the three mile field. This was one of the funny bugger things, a bit of book leaf pine, and I'd rubbed a bit of iron oxide on it, fired it flat in the kiln so you got that little lace work of ash glaze there and I try not to blush when people tell me what delicate brush work <laughs> so this was from green pine needles which I just rested on the side of the pot and that melted and then it ran down there was nothing else added to it that's just the ash from the pine needles and this one was from a rose bush. <laughs> the bloke across the road was pulling up a couple of rose bushes and don't throw them away. <laughs> so you think some attractive colours in that one. So. But still a, a dry glaze. So you know basically that's a, about it. <laughs> This video was made with the help of Graham Anderson in Lightning Ridge. You can find other videos with Graham on this channel, including an evening of Raku pottery firing and experiments with melting glass bottles in an electric pottery kiln. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it with your friends and maybe even subscribing on YouTube. You can also follow along on social media. The links are all in the description. Thank you for watching.